a fucking moment for me was for sure like this last album, this last project, just being like, fuck it. And and maybe like I would say not even just this last project, but my last recording recording cycle. Cause I, I just like, I, ta- I, I think, I believe in like that 10,000 hours theory where like you do 10,000 hours and like, you know, you can become a master or something. Cause if you do something long enough, like mentally, like you're, we're humans, like we like, you know, walking, talking computers, like you can get good at something. You can tap into that same, you know, thing that you know how to do if you do it long enough. So like, I felt like maybe this past summer or, or past like year or whatever, 2017, late 2016, um, I've been writing since 2010, and I'm talking like damn near every day, or I mean, every, you know, a lot of time, a lot. I, I mean, I got so much. I wrote a lot. I've written, I've written probably more than I've done anything else, like in the last six or seven years. I got to a point where I stopped writing to make a hot song. I, I stopped doing that overall. Like, I, I, I don't do that anymore. Like I used to do it a little bit and then write some real stuff and then try to do the hook. And I don't do it anymore. Now I just write what is dope to me. Like I have listened to enough music and I know what I like and I know what goes and I know what is gonna make me feel like excited when I hear it and give me that vibe that I know I like and that I want my music to have. So now it's like my music is just all unadulterated like me and what I feel and what I hear and what I think this shit should sound like. At that point, I don't really want to say that anything was really going bad for me. It was just like I was at that crossroads in my artistry where it was like, what are you going to be? You know what I'm saying? And 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 I had to sort I remember that summer I was like, I really was on myself about like improving my, my lyricism, my writing. Like I was like really telling myself, you need to say more with less. Like you need to capture, you need to capture what you feel better on the song like you want I want you to I want to hear the song and feel the feeling unadulterated and so I just practiced and I just wrote a lot I just wrote every day I just I mean there were some songs that I wrote for like three days like I would just be like it ain't right yet you know And, and I would sing it back to myself and be like am I feeling it or am I just writing a song and until I felt it until I knew that I fucking loved it like you know so that was my fucking moment (laughs) <laughs> I was like, I was like, fuck it, and got better. <laughs> that was really it. That, like, motivation, that, that drive, it just comes from, I don't know, like, I guess I just seen, like, I feel like I've seen and experienced enough of, just, like, living to survive and just living, like, just, you know what I'm saying, like, check to check and shit. I've seen and done enough of that to where it's like, I'm really motivated to find out how much more I can do in my lifetime and not just for myself, but for my family and the family after that. Like, I just wanna see how far I can take shit. You know what I mean? Like, how much can I do? Like, how much great shit can I do before I go? And in the process, like, you have a lot of fun. You know what I mean? You have a lot of fun by like going, trying things, doing things and like having goals and meeting different people and you know, you do a lot of fun shit. Like, once I got a taste of, like, like I remember, like, the first time I traveled or something like that. Once I got a taste, I was like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? Once I saw my brother when he went to college for the first time, I was like, wow. Like, I was just, like, every time I see some, I was just, it's funny, I was listening to that Gucci book, and he was talking about when he pulled up at Scott Storch's house, and he was like, and he saw all the cars and the mansion, da 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 He was like, I never seen nobody living like this. It was like seeing Scarface, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, he had that in his head, you feel me, after he left. And it's not necessarily that you want all the material things, but it's like, holy shit, people could live like this, you know what I mean? Like, people could eat like this, people could travel like this and have access to just, like, if you get dressed every day, why not put on, like, the best clothes for your body every day, you know? And it's not about flexing, it's about, like, why not feel the most comfortable when you go to sleep, sleep in nice sheets, you know? So my drive to do great things is, like, definitely intertwined with wanting to live my best life. It's like, the more good I do, you know, the more good I get. So you put good in, you get good out, so.